Hey everyone, it's Emmy Hall with TFL Car. We're here at Cars and Coffee, just outside of Boulder, Colorado. It's huge, but I'm with my favorite car and its owner, Mick. Mick, what is behind me? It's a pile of junk we call a 73 thing made by Volkswagen. <laughs> A lot of people don't know about this car. I mean, do you know how many years it was imported into the States? I believe it was made in Mexico, started being made in Mexico in 72 and then available in America 73 and 74. But I think they still made them up until 78 in Mexico. Yeah, I think so too. And I know that they were um, very popular down in South America as well. They used them for tourist buses yeah, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So how did you first get into things? I mean, how did you find out about them? Well, I started out as a um, sort of a collector of German memor war memorabilia and I found books on it and this is basically based on that car which was the German military answer to our Jeep. Mm -hmm. So what kind of engine do you have in this baby? Well this has a 1776 which I think is the largest that you can get. I think normally they were 1660s. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. So this knocks out like what, 105 horsepower? Oh, maybe in free fall off a high building. <laughs> <laughs> so what's like the most exciting place you've had your thing? Uh, geez, just everywhere I go, it's just a joy because people seem to just get a giggle out of the way it looks because it's such a goofy looking clown car kind of. <laughs> All right, so, so how do I take these doors off? Okay, there's a little latch right here, yep. and you push this in, pull this out, and then normally it just pops out. But I've never done it on this one. Oh, okay. So we'll see. That's it. And that's it. And wow, you can you take all four doors off, take the top down, and push the window down. Doesn't this make you feel super protected? I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> So this is a brand new motor, uh, just put in 300 miles ago, and it's a 1776 size. That's awesome. It's so clean and tight. It's so clean, I know. I know, we gotta get this thing dirty. <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> There's a little lever here. You pull that. I certainly did. And then this is a gasoline heater, which currently doesn't work. <laughs> and what's what's kind of interesting about that gasoline heater is that basically you have an open flame next to your gas tank, so <laughs> it's not necessarily the safest thing out there. <laughs> no. Yeah, Not a, I, no. I've never really seen anyone that actually uses it. This is the only one I've ever had. All my other ones had the heater boxes right. in the back. Yeah. Okay. So do you, uh, do you ever take the doors off and the, put the windshield down or anything like that? I have and, and you actually can put the windshield down and drive it legally if you wear eye protection like a motorcycle. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. And you take the doors off or anything like you that? You can take the doors off, the windows store under here and uh, when I got my first one I was real excited and I took it to my mom and I said, Mom, this amazing car, the window comes down, the doors come off, the windows come off and she looked at me in stark horror and said, Mick, they're gonna steal your car piece by piece. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you when you had your first one? I was 20. <laughs> so have you done all the work yourself or? Oh no, no, I... <laughs> no, no, I, no, 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 I don't touch that. <laughs> no, if you, if you lock me in a room with a nut and a bolt, I'll lose the nut or the bolt in 10 minutes. So. <laughs> I, I just pay people to take care of it. For well, you know, it is one of my favorite cars. I used to be a thing owner myself. I'm hoping one day 
to get a, a 73 with a 2280 dual carb motor, coil shot, coils all the way around, disc brakes all the way around. Like I have my whole off-road thing ready in my head. All I need is like a rich old man. Because you would think that, that this wouldn't be worth a lot of money, but now they're becoming so rare. Yeah. You used to be able to get them for a couple grand. Now it's like 20 grand and the thing is like rusted out. So they're really yeah. becoming very, very rare. Very popular now and, and hard to find in really good shape. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But there are still are parts available uh, in several places. Arizona, Right. you mentioned a place down there, yeah. Yeah, so you just gotta search around. So anyway, Mick, thank you so much for talking sure. about your little baby here. I love it. Thank you. I don't care, there's all kinds of supercars and Porsches and Lamborghinis here, cars and coffee, but my favorite is the 73 Volkswagen thing. That's it for right now. I'm Emmy Hall for TFL Car. Thanks so much for watching. We're here at Cars and Coffee right outside of Boulder, Colorado.